Oh my god! Get it, get it, get it! <laughs> oh man! Oh, it's a big one! That is starting with a bang. It is that time of year. We're at the Winnipeg Ice Fishing Show. Once the show hits, I think it's like first or second weekend of November, it feels like ice fishing season. My mind doesn't really get too far ahead of itself as far as trips go. So I was open water until a couple weeks ago. Now feels like the kickoff to ice fishing season. Anyone that is an ice fishing addict is at this show. This is where I'm hanging out on Fish Manitoba. And just across the way, we got Hannon running the kitchen cook booth. What do you have to say, Hannon? Yeah, we gotta reorganize. Cool. Where's Samantha? She's our uh, lead worker. <laughs> as I say, lead. You're watching. If, if you want to be on camera, yeah, you're have to yeah, sign camera, catch first. and cook. Um, it's the morning of, like two minutes out. Woo! Nice yeah. day. Day two of the Winnipeg Ice Fishing Show here with Hannon Siemens. What do you have to say, Hannon? Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah! <laughs> Sam, give us a little uh, rundown on how day one went at the Winnipeg Ice Fishing Show. It was nuts. It was chaos. We maybe should have ordered a little more catch and cook than we did, but it's a good problem to have. Day two is going to be even better. You can already feel it. They, uh, they sold a record amount of merch at the Hunt Fish booth. They got New hoodies, sweatpants, kids' hoodies, so many different hats and toques. I'm gonna give you a little little tour of what else is at the ice show. Chat with our friends at the Frostbite booth and see what's new for the season. This thing, uh, this place gets me hyped. Ooh, behind the scenes at Frostbite. Oh, they Whoa! Here? here we go, this is Mark Tully, Clayton Schick. When you're wondering what's happening behind the curtain here, this is it. We've got some exciting stuff. Let's go on this side of the curtain. Yeah, that's better. Well, tungsten dinner bells, you're familiar with those, are twice as heavy, very exciting. Original dinner bells, very exciting also. Head spinners, those were launched last year. They're awesome and they also pair very nicely mm. with the Dragon Slayers, Derby Slayers. Love those. Slayers. These meat heads are lovely. Very specifically balanced for a 21 to 23 degree hang angle for that perfect Roof of the mouth hooks at every time. Oh, that's one of my favorites. Scissor kicks. They were launched last year too, very popular. The but there's a new size, right? There's two new sizes. Coming and if soon. you can guess what they are. You can buy them. <laughs> you can buy them. <laughs> Ice fishing braid. This is new for this year and is very exciting and well received. And it's uh, specifically made for ice fishing. It's great, yeah. And then we're gonna have Mr. Noodles very soon in Canada. That's the new line, or the new rod, Mr. Noodles, which is, what is that rod used for? That's just Extra a- Extra ultra light. It's used for crappies, bluegill. Perch. If you can catch them small. Yeah, rock bass. Yeah, if you're a big yeah. rock bass guy, hit the comments below. <laughs> hit the comments below. Lots of rods. Well, a lot of frostbite gear. They have every ion and Eskimo auger around. Quite the shack set up here. There is a new auger that I haven't seen. Good morning, sir. How are you? Great. How about you? All right, this is new. This is the E40. Yes, Eskimo now has an electric auger. Question is, you pick the Ion or do you pick the E40? I, I think they're both good. This has a little bit less torque, but it's lighter, it's cheaper. So it depends what you want to do. I'm going to stick with the Alpha, but someone looking to get into an electric auger, I think the E40 is pretty sweet. I think it's like 14 pounds or something. So I'm sure we're going to sell a ton of these. Anyways, the other booth that got a ton of activity, I was going to say your booth, the holiday booth. This is a busy booth, the Holiday RV. They got so many electronics, but they got the Summit Shuttle. So now you don't have to order it online. You can get it in person in Steinbeck. And they sold a lot of these yesterday. So this is the HDPE Shuttle. Uh, I've been using it the last year. I used like some samples of it and it, it withheld everything. I beat the crap out of mine as well. They got the new docking system and that's what I put on my kayak so I can switch between my kayak, my boat, whatever, just ready for ice fishing now. So I love the docking system and I got a lot of questions when they're gonna be out and they just launched them. So the holiday booth and if you wanna, by the time you see this video, if you wanna get them in Steinbach, if you don't wanna order online, Aqua Views, they got augers, shacks. We'll see what else. Ready to rock it? We're ready to rock. In the water, the fish is unhooked already. All right, get him beside Keeping him. the gills underwater. Okay. So another thing I want to talk about is holding fish. This is a bad idea. He 
this is a bad idea. It was bad. I lasted five of the six levels of wings, and then they did some other crazy stuff after that. I lasted longer than I expected. I forced myself to puke behind a snow bear in front. And I was gagging on stage. Anyways, people are cleaning up. Uh, thank you so much to everybody that came and said hi. This video's not done. We're gonna go driving north until we find ice. Might be five hours, might be 14 hours, but we're going ice fishing. Well, we're all packed up from the ice show and we're heading north. The rainbow trailer is loaded with so much ice gear. We got an ATV, we got an e-bike. We've got the frostbite snow machine. We're headed to Northern Manitoba. We were thinking about going to Lynn Lake where we went two years ago, that first ice adventure with Alex. And that was the plan now, but it looks like we got cold enough weather that we don't have to go quite as far north. And we're going to one of my favorite places in Manitoba, Wakusco Falls Lodge. I haven't been there in a couple years. It's a gem. They actually shut down for a little bit due to uh, having some construction workers staying there, but now they are back open for the public, for fishermen. So we're trying to spread the word. People think it's closed, but it's not. They're accepting fishermen. So hopefully we find ice and some fish, I guess too would be nice. I have flashbacks to being in this parking lot with Kevin Erickson when we were driving north on our trout tour. My stomach was gurgling because I got some weird sort of stomach bug when I went to Brazil last time, which actually I just came back from Brazil again. Luckily I don't have the stomach bug from that, but those spicy wings, they hurt. I'm feeling better. I've worked through it. We're getting a chisel. We might fish today. I don't know. We'll see. Pete's Pro Tackle. We'll see if they have catch and cook. Which chisel? This one's pretty beefy. I'll probably just get the small one. I don't need that big boy chisel. We found the good stuff. Catch and cook in stock. And the spices. We'll just double it up there. Give them more shelf space. Perfect. There you are. Thank you very much. No problem. Good luck, guys. Thank you. We got a chisel. We're good. Boys, we got ice. We're not unloading too much yet. You can see there's been people on the ice already. We're excited. I was using the Manitoba Master Angler book, the stocking list. This is a new lake to me, stocked with rainbows. On our way to Wakusco Falls Lodge. A little pit stop. Check the ice, catch a master rainbow for Andrew. It's exciting, first time on the ice. Hopefully, pending the ice is safe. I'd like to take this moment to introduce, well, there's gonna be a bunch of anglers showing up on this trip. I haven't really told you what's going on, but I had the pleasure of carpooling with a guy named Andrew Walker, Cast and Conquer. If you guys remember Game of Inches, Andrew catches big muskies through the ice, catches big muskies all the time, really. But anyways, he came all the way from Quebec to come fish this stock trout lake with me. Do you have anything to say, Andrew? In search of a Manitoba master angler. That's the goal. His first Manitoba master. First time fishing in Manitoba, hoping to make that first fish Manitoba master. That'd be, that'd be, Pretty it, would, it wouldn't be too, like, you kind of need to work towards it, wait till the last day, but. Yeah, sometimes I get clients in the boat that have never had a muskie and their first fish is a 50. Yeah. So we'll see if that luck can come over on my side a little there bit today. Go. Made a little pit stop in Fairford, Manitoba for, you guessed it, Nate's Baits. My bait man. It's always good to have a bait guy, you know? Nate's Baits. Could there be a better name for a business other than maybe Jay's Jigs? I don't think so. And we're ice fishing. Welcome to the 2023, 2024 ice fishing season. Thank you for following along. You might be like, Jay, I've already seen a bunch of videos on your channel where you're ice fishing. Well, I filmed a bunch of videos in March, in April. I even went ice fishing in May last year, but you guys are kind of tired of ice fishing by that point, so that's why I posted them this, this winter. Welcome, thanks for following along. If you're not subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. We came a little bit late. Andrew did see a couple big ones on the old live scope machine, but that's all right. It gave us a little bit of intel. This lake, while it's small, it's frozen good. We found, I'd say about four inches of ice here. If you're not comfortable, don't go out on four inches. Wait till there's six, seven, eight. We're now off to Cusco Falls Lodge. And I heard, I heard we got the waterfall cabin.
We made it. You can hear the waterfall of Wakusco Falls flowing. We're gonna get settled in. I'll give you a little tour of the cabin. This one's new. There's a lot of new stuff since I last been here. Cabin 10, the two story, the beast. She's a beauty. Well, the rest of the crew arrived. We have Mr. Martelli. Mr. Martelli. Fan favorite. We have not Mr. Alex Merrick. Not a fan favorite. He's got fans. We've got Mr. Ryan Gaynor. Ryan, so it's a long story, but Ryan and I almost worked together this summer, and now he ends up working with Mr. Alex. So he's gonna be doing some filming, maybe some fishing. Have you ever been this far north? No, never. This, wow. I feel like this is where the roads end. Like this Basically, is where all the roads end. Northern Manitoba. I don't know what's gonna happen in the next couple days, but we got a good crew and a stunning cabin. This is like, this is too much. This is so nice. This is heaven on earth here. <laughs> if you knew how close we are to like a beautiful waterfall, it's just like constant, perfect white noise of a waterfall. When you step mm. on that patio, it's, you're in heaven. I might sleep outside. How many? Do we just count the ones where you go all the way down? Or? That's how you warm up a snowsuit. Alex, wow, that's really impressive. <laughs> I just want to spend all winter at this place. Cabin feels brand new. I think it's two years old, maybe. Closing up the rainbow trailer. We're bringing it just in case we want to have the quad. I don't think there'll be enough ice for the quad, but we're getting to the lake, it might be nice. We're going to be doing some filming for different channels. I think this first part of the trip might be going on my channel, but everyone's going to have cameras. It's just going to be a good old time on the ice. First ice, baby, let's go! Yeah. We're fishing for stock trout, if you didn't guess. These are some of the first lakes to freeze. There's a website, I'll link it below. It's the Manitoba stocking list. You can look at this interactive map of Manitoba and it shows when they've been stocked, where they've been stocked. Anyways, this lake stocked with rainbows and brookies. A little sleuthing and you'll find out where we are. We're going down the trail. We found some ice, we went and checked it already, but we'll be safe, we'll chisel as we go. Safety, so important first ice. Lakes freeze differently. Sometimes the bay might be safe, but the main lake might still be open. So get yourself a chisel, floating suit, some ice picks. If you pedal, it'll start pushing you. Don't go down the trail right away, Alex. Please don't break this. <laughs> Press the, oh man. Alex, don't go down the. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Good. Yeah, I like how Alex took the e-bike. Jay's on the quad. Mark had to go back, and I'm the oldest one here, dragging sleighs. Makes sense. All right, we made it to the lake. There is still a little bit of open water in the middle, and some lakes will actually have open water all winter long. Uh, obviously, this lake's gonna freeze all, but some lakes with currents. So, anyways. We're checking as we go and then popping a couple holes. The nice thing about stock trout is you don't have to go that deep. So if we can get into three, four feet of water for brookies, five, six feet of water for rainbow, something like that, we'll be in good shape. But we already checked all the way down here. It's sunrise. We're just gonna get some jaw jackers and bait out and then we're gonna get have some fun with some active baits, some jigging spoons. Hopefully Andrew gets his first trophy. And then after that, we're gonna plan some fun little frostbite uh, competition type stuff, and capture some stuff for the frostbite channel. But uh, right now, it's all about Manitoba first ice. <laughs> We just got a minnow on an octopus hook and a split shot about six inches up. We're set, we're fishing, baby. He's on. I'm gonna go over there? Yep. Dude, he came from 10 feet away like a rocket. Oh, Jay's got one. Jay's on. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Andrew just hooked up with potentially his first Manitoba Master Angler. We're gonna have to go to his channel to see what comes out of the ice. But I'm hooked up with my first fish of the ice season, baby. Whew. Whew, whew, whew. Man, you don't get these uh, visuals once it's later in the season and you got a bunch of snow over the ice. Oh, that's a good one. How big was his? Andrew's was 21. Nice. Master Angler's first fish. That was Andrew's goal. This place is crazy. Yeah, this is a good start. Well, your jaw jacker went off, Jay. Oh, the fish on! Get oh, it, get it, get it! Go, Alex, go! I need a GoPro! The GoPro's there! Ryan! 
No, we're on the ice. Northern Manitoba and ice season has begun. 20 inch on the nose. Got a shot of that Brando, Manitoba trophy. Got her? Yep. Look at that. Out of the water for just a couple seconds. Boom, Brandon, give me some. Woo, and Alex is on. <laughs> Amazing start. Alex got a Master Rainbow. Andrew, his first fish in Manitoba. Master Angler, that was his goal. You have to go watch his video. Don't want to spoil it for you. I got one too, and Mr. Mark Tully just showed up. He had to run back to the cabin to grab some stuff. What a start to the ice season. Like, that is starting it with a bang. Brandon, one of the, one of the uh, task cams. Oh, oh, big rainbow. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Oh man, that was absolutely wild. I just seen a big brookie come through and then this rainbow just came in and hailed it. I'm in like a foot and a half of water. Wow, what a start. Rainbows are one of the best fighters through the ice and just such a good way to kick off the season. Oh man, make this real quick. Bump it on the board, it's under 21. Manitoba Master Angler number two for me, number four for the crew, wow. I've talked about jaw jackers lots. They're such a good device because there is a problem sometimes with bait, you gut hook fish where they light bite it and they just drop it. But with the jaw jacker, it eats the bait, it sets the hook, and it hooks them perfectly in the snout, uh, like a lot of the time. And my favorite rod. My favorite rod in the entire Frostbite lineup, but it is also the perfect jaw jacker rod is the drench, because you can see how soft it is on the tip. We're trying out the new Frostbite ice line. It's braided line, but it's got these characteristics. Uh, it doesn't freeze as bad on the ice, because that's a problem with braid. Yes, it will still freeze in extreme cold, but this uh, it, it just sheds the water a little bit better. Right there, Nate's baits. I do want to catch them on some active baits with the live scope and everything, but we're off to a good start. That one I saw eat chaos. Another one, Brookie just ate it. I got him. We got a Brookie! <laughs> that was hilarious. That's the one that's been coming around a couple times. This is the other species that we got the potential of. This is a small one, probably stocked a year or two ago. God's beautiful creation. Look at those blue and red dots. All right, we're sliding it back. Brookie, Brookie on another big rainbow. Mark Tully, it's me Mark here, checking in. There have been some really nice fish caught, so I think I'm gonna wet a line, see if I can get on this action. We said who wants to have Mark part of their video? And they say, give us Taro Murado. We drew straws. I got the short, no, I got the long straw. I got the straw that <laughs> let me choose Mark as my partner. Stop skating circus! So you hooked up again. The Insanity Pepper, the Clayton Chick Special. Sounds good. There's some fish coming on your side. School, herd of turtles. I got him. I got him. I told you I would. I knew you could. I knew you would. Holy! That's a oh rainbow. God. They're easy to hold at that. <laughs> yeah, they're really easy to hold. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, that's great. That was just on the spoon, no bait. No bait needed. Oh, here's a big one. Oh, I missed him. How? And there's just like turbidity on the live scope now from him hitting. You had it on? It, well, it hit. How big you think based on the grids? Big, like it's like at really? least two feet. Fish, fish, fish! Hey! Alex! Fish! Holy crap. <laughs> You'll take the next jaw jacker that goes off, okay? Oh 
come on. Oh my god. No way. <laughs> Alex, I need to go get the measuring board. Stat. Oh. It's a big one. It's a big one. It is swimming oh, okay. to southern Manitoba. Big assist from Alex. This thing's all this over is a big the place. One. I think it's a really big one. We've kind of been catching that 20 to 21 inch, 22 inch size class, but every year they get they grow pretty fast up here. Oh boy. Yeah, it might be a bigger one. Yeah, same class. Here we go. They call him Master Mark. Master Mark Telly. He's doing oh, meals. I love watching them. This is, this is great. Here we go. He tried to jump. <laughs> We're talking rainbow trout, baby. He's beating you. Yeah, beating me in my own game. Okay, there we go. Good job, Mark. There we go, okay. Okay, hooks out. There it is, rainbow trout, baby. Oh, pinch OJ. it, pinch it. I can't, I'm not gonna that's pinch it. That's a 20-incher, are you joking? Yeah, Look that's a 20-incher. That. Look at that, 20 inches. I'm gonna send him in in centimeters to try and gem that trophy. Yep, and the learning moment of the day is that's called an adipose fin. <laughs> okay, and back we go. And the color of the day is rainbow. Well, let's get another one. <laughs> These stock trout, they kind of like to hang on sometimes edges. So there's a bit of a weed edge. We're just off of it now, but uh, pretty much they also just swim laps around the lake. Like stock trout don't really sit still. So you want to be on a travel corridor, but uh, beyond that, sometimes all of a sudden two, three fish will come through and it'll be quiet. And then two, three fish. Did I just hear bells? Oh. Bell, 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 Bring it home. Bring it home. Ooh, yeah. that's big. Ooh, ooh, whoa, whoa. In these scenarios, you gotta throw your mitts far. Still got the measuring device there, Al. I'm gonna get the bell. We're gonna be very careful here. Ooh, could this be the big boy? This is it. The season ender? Call I'm, it a I'm season I'm trying to right see now. it under here because it's like, look at him. With all the water on top of the ice, it's really clear. Oh, I love it. I love ice fishing again. I wasn't sure on the drive up, but the drive was long. <laughs> we haven't seen it yet. This might be a big one. This should be it. I mean, they can only really... They just fight so hard. That's the thing about rainbows. Wow. Should I go in on a click tighter? No, oh, you're fine. He's just fighting hard. That's oh, nice and thorough. This you're, fight's you're unbelievable. Gonna, you're gonna grab him like a grizzly bear just as he's swimming by, hey? You want me to? These holes are a little small. When we were chopping them open, we we're like, ah, oh, yeah, we should. It's probably better to be safe, not to have a huge hole. Oh yeah. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> that's yes. a beautiful one. That's great. Lift them up. There we go. That's it. Rainbow trout. Mark Tully. Oh, 22 inch mark. Ah, oh, just under 22. Mark, you want to grab him? Ladies and gentlemen, there it is. The last rainbow of this segment. But. Tune in shortly, because we've got more to come. That is a wrap on our first morning at Wacusco Falls Lodge. A couple things I gotta mention. New Huntfish MB merch, amazing. Also, speaking of Wacusco Falls Lodge, it's not just stock trout here. You've probably seen the other videos before, but they got big walleye, like some of the biggest walleyes in Manitoba, big gold ones, big pike, big lake trout, giant burbot, whitefish, saugers. There's so many different lakes you can fish around, and we're hopefully gonna sample some more pending safe ice and on that topic be safe get a chisel check the ice as you go never assume it's safe get yourself some ice picks maybe a floating suit make sure to subscribe to all these great people but we're filming something else now but you have to stay tuned thanks for watching <laughs>